We have already reviewed the Latitude 155 30 which has an environment conscious build and great feature set. Albeit being largely the same, the Latitude 1555 31 has some key differences from its twin brother. As is with Dell's history of laptop names, the 1 at the end indicates more powerful hardware being used to run it. Let's see. First, let's take a look at the externals. The laptop is far from the thinnest out there, standing at up to 24 mm. The weight is 1.79 kg which is not that bad for a 15-incher. The more important thing here is that its body feels very durable. Just like a high-end business notebook, Latitude 1555-31 has not only a fingerprint reader but also an IR face recognition scanner and an HD or Full HD camera. The keyboard is comfortable for typing thanks to its decent key travel, clicky feedback, and large numpad area. On the left side, there are two ultra-fast Thunderbolt 4 connectors and an optional smart card reader. Then, on the right, you get a security lock slot, LAN port, HDMI 2.0, two full-sized USB 3.2 generation 1 ports, audio jack, and a micro SD card reader. In other words, everything you might need from it. We're not done with the good news. Take a look inside, the Latitude 5531 has two SOTOM slots for up to 64GB of GDDR5 memory. In addition, you get two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, which can work in RAID mode. But that's not all. You also have a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay at your disposal. What year is it? Is what we thought when we saw that we can order a configuration with an HDTN panel. Let's pretend that we haven't seen it, there are full HD IPS and 4K IPS options. We bought one with a 1080p resolution. It has decent brightness, very good contrast ratio, and comfortable viewing angles. Don't expect vivid colors, or buy the 4K variant, because the full HD one covers just 52% of the sRGB color gamut. This leads to inaccurate colors, the Delta E is off the charts, but not in a good way. And even our display profile is powerless this time. And if you think that they can't be more bad news, here's another one, it uses aggressive PWM making it unsafe for your eyes. Thankfully, our health guard profile eliminates it. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. This device's 64 watt hours battery lasts for 10 hours and 22 minutes of web browsing, or 8 hours and 40 minutes of video playback. That is a very good result, actually. As we said, the one at the end of the name indicates a more powerful hardware. You can get this latitude with up to Core i7-12800H. These 45 watt CPUs are paired with an optional GeForce MX 550 with 2 GB GDDR6 VRAM. We chose the middle core i5 option but we wanted to test the MX 550 which turned out to be more than capable for casual gaming. You can play Battlefield 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, or GTA 5 on high settings, without any issues. Even though Latitude 5531 has only one fan, it is still doing a decent job when it comes to maintaining the 45 watts base TDP. Also, the average core temperature is pretty low too. To be honest, we didn't have high expectations for this one. And we were pretty surprised that this is an amazing laptop in many aspects. Except for the display, it's terrible. If you have the chance, get the 4K option, we haven't tested it but it couldn't be worse. Anyway, everything else is great, long battery life, wide I.O., comfortable keyboard, fingerprint, IR scanner, great upgradability, Thunderbolt 4 ports. We can't ask for more. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, check out our in-depth review, the link is in the video description below.